What's going on guys, Evan here to show you how to do proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation or PNF. Now there are multiple variations of PNF, but for this video I'll be showing you the most simplest form of PNF, which is the contract relax or the CR technique for the bicep. Now PNF usually starts with a static stretch for about 30 seconds before the addition of the isometric contraction. In the isometric contraction, it lasts about six to 10 seconds before the relaxation phase. But before we begin into the PNF stretching of the biceps, let me show you how to not stretch the biceps because I've seen many people try to stretch the biceps like this or like this where they have their forearms in a supinated position and try to push down on their wrist with their other hand just because they feel tension up here it makes them think that they're somehow stretching the bicep correctly. So to do it correctly, we have to know some biomechanics and basically do the opposite of that muscle function. So in the case of the biceps, the reason why this is incorrect is because the action of the bicep is to supinate and then flex at the elbow joint. So instead of doing this, what we want to do is pronate the forearm to lengthen the biceps, right? And another critical error is not knowing where the muscle originates from. So we can see the biceps as being here in this general area, but we don't think about the tendons that also adds length to the bicep. Since the biceps originate from the anterior side of the scapula, the biceps is actually shorter in a flexed position as opposed to a extended or hyperextended position. Now to properly stretch the biceps, what you want to do, remember we have to pronate the forearm to lengthen the bicep. Then we want to, we want to put it in a hyperextension. And to do this, we're going to have to grab onto something. So in this case, you need to grab onto something that's not gonna move to keep you stable and make sure your forearm is actually pronated to keep the muscle lengthy. And this is how you would normally stretch the bicep. Now that we know the proper stretch technique, we can begin with the static stretch for about 30 seconds. So again, I'm gonna take the pronated forearm and grab something while it's pronated. And I'm going to lean a bit forward to add some length in that muscle. And I'm going to kind of bend my knees so I'm a bit lower, which will add further stretch to that bicep. Because the lower I go with my knees, the more hyperextension I'm going to get of my shoulder. After 30 seconds has passed, we can go into the isometric isometric phase. So in the isometric phase, what you want to do is you want to try to curl, curl that forearm, right? While your forearm still supinated, of course. So you're not going to see much here, but when you actually do it by yourself, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel some tension in your bicep. So after about 10 seconds of isometric contraction, I'm going to relax it. And that would conclude the contract relax 